Hey guys, it's Lizzie, aka Frizzy. And Johnny. And we are here in Denver at the Denver Bins. This is day one. Day one. So we are hoping, our goal is to hit, I think, three different bins while we're here. Uh, hopefully find tons of goodies because we packed an extra suitcase. I know when we went to Seattle, everyone was like, you didn't get another suitcase? We got another suitcase yes, this time. Yes, we have plenty of room, hopefully. <laughs> so let's see how we do. All right, we'll see ya. All right, guys, so for everybody keeping score at home, this is the Kearney Street location in Denver. All right, guys, I see this barley tag. This barley brand is decent. Um, so I, after further investigation, though, the back was all stained up, so I passed on this. Ugh. Now this is our first, we had just gotten into Denver, so we hit this one pretty hard. We had been here before, so we were kind of familiar with the layout. So I had to come over to the side because you aren't really allowed to film in the Goodwill bin, so I had to sneak it on the side. But this is daily practice. This is an anthro brand. I decided to not pick it up. You know, we are working with little limited M minimum cargo storage. Yes. Um, this Beautiful People is 100% silk blouse. I did decide to keep this just because it is pretty thin, lightweight, and 100% silk. Did you say Beautiful People? Yep. Oh, that's a, that's a bolo for me. A new one. <laughs> a new brand. Um, this is an Athleta uh, Space Dyed Quarter Ooh. Zip. So yeah. I kept that. And we did pack one extra suitcase with us. Uh, so we were still trying to be selective even though we had some room. Yeah, we. Um, this was an REI dress. You'll see more about this towards the end in our haul. A little recap. So this is an interesting menswear brand that I had never heard of. It seemed really nice, but after further investigation, it had some gross pit stains. Blah. Blah. So, no way. That was pre-loved plus a little. What do you have here? Um, this is an older tag Theory dress, Ooh. which Theory is typically a decent brand, but this was falling apart. Literally at the seams. Yes. <laughs> so I passed on this. Passed on that. Just coming out of a rotation, as you saw, we pulled out this Hunter bag, which I had never seen before, and it's actually a collab with Target, um, which is super cool. There was one sold comp for $49.99, so definitely snagged it. Um, it will carry all of our stuff while we're at the bins, and we can make some money off it also. And then these hats, I promise you guys, I will clean these up. This is that vintage new era tag, so if you ever see that, it's a snag for sure. But I will clean these up, and we will have them on our Whatnot show coming up on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. This Kachina, what is it, Andrea Bragg Designs. They go for like 22 25 bucks, single stitch from the 90s. Had to snag it. What else is in this bag of goodies? Oh... Oh, guys, this camera, I was so excited about it. Ordered a battery charger, ordered some new batteries when we got home because you know I had to snag it. Hey, there you are. Hey. Okay. Had to snag it, loaded it up, it turned on, and then we got an internal overheating error, which is common with cameras like that, but not when it hadn't been on. So we'll probably sell it for parts, make a hundred bucks or so. Always grab those golf head covers but this this guys icp insane clown posse this is me bragging to frizzy on what i just found if you guys can see that that is not an error these hoodies go for 200 plus dollars yes a hoodie a clown hoodie a scary clown hoodie <laughs> goes for over 200 dollars but icp does have a cult following so keep an eye out It's Frizzy here. 
and Johnny. And we are back at our hotel room to show you what we got on our Denver trip day one. Day one. So we kind of heard through the grapevine that they don't really love you filming inside the bin. So our uh, sh shopping, thrifting footage is limited, but we wanted to show you guys uh, what we got because uh, we killed it. Today. Yeah, we killed it. <laughs> you want to get it started? Sure. All right. Um, okay. So we'll do an easy one first. This is just a, th a little Athleta. The bread and butter. Athleta, size large, quarter zip, super cute. Um, then we got this um, REI dress. It's an extra large REI. Um, and usually extra large sizes sell pretty well and fast. So this will be probably like 30 bucks. And I definitely found some golf head covers. Whoop found some golf head covers uh, with the weather warming up these sell pretty quickly but you want to look for brands like Callaway and TaylorMade which I dropped on the floor <laughs> <laughs> all right got a little vintage tea yes so, the Kachina style Kachina vintage Love tea it. single stitch got the single stitch definitely mid early 90s that's cute my parents would love that you should get like 20 bucks for it <laughs> all what right. else you got oh this is fun okay so this is um <laughs> This is a fire resistant fire bulwark protective apparel. Uh, probably 30 bucks on this, but it is a 2XL. So fire resistant shirts do pretty well. Yeah. It's all through comps up. Definitely. And of course, you know, we went through, found the vintage hats and some modern hats too. A lot of these will go on our whatnot show. So stay tuned for those being scheduled soon. Yes. And check out the link below. We'll take you to our whatnot so you can bookmark our shows. But we have uh, women's apparel and hat shows. Hey. We got this guy too. He weighs absolutely nothing, but comps were like 20 bucks. So it was what like it a called? sure thing. It's an ugly doll. Ugly doll, ugly doll. He, and he's so ugly, he's cute. He is cute. Um, we definitely left a couple of these behind, but this one seemed to sell pretty well. So why not? Um, okay, so this is cute. Ooh, this yeah. is exciting. Johnny so this fine. is Johnny's Fines. This is a hunter bag. It is a Target collab, yeah, collab hunter bag. Target. Um, but we can still fetch around 50 bucks. Oh, fetch. fetch. There's, fetch. A, there's a sold comp for $49.99, and I didn't see any other ones listed, so hopefully they'll sell pretty yeah, quick. But cute. it's always nice when the bag that carries everything out has some value yes, to it, too. this is true. All right, guys, this one, if, if you know, you know, and you may not know because you may not be a juggalo, but... All right, kid, what's going on with the clown makeup, though? You're sticking out like a sore thumb. That's because I'm a juggalo? I see P. Insane Clown Posse, yo. I don't know what that is. You have a posse. Well, good. Stick with your Insane Clown people and you won't get jumped. They're a band, dude. I'm like a diehard fan. We're called Juggalos. This is an Insane Clown Posse full zip hoodie with the clown face. If you look, you can see all the details of just the insane clownness that's going on. But... The comps on this yeah. are outrageous, outrageous. One sold for $200, the same size. I think this is a 2X because it runs a little small. For, yeah, $200, and it was ripped, torn, cut up, stained. This one is not. So this one, in uh, frizzy terms, could fetch. Could fetch. Uh, <laughs> over $200, which is yeah. amazing. Pretty good deal. So good deal. Um, if you don't know, no. The insane ICP. Calm Posse ICP. The kids love it. It is a band. For those who don't <laughs> it know. is a band. band. Alright, so oh. this was probably the best find of the day yes. so far. We've got this vintage leather Colorado Avalanche 95. 1995. 95. Made in USA jacket. I think it you need to sport it. It is pretty stellar. It was the size medium. All right, you guys. <laughs> yes. Look at this oh, thing. Oh, yeah. You look like you're ready to ride a Harley to a hockey game, mm -hmm. I guess. But um, <laughs> comps are kind of all over the place on these. But, I mean, this should be two, two fifty. So, an absolute stellar day. We have one last bag that we pulled out. Oh, yeah. I also forgot <laughs> yeah, we also this camera. Um, this is a Canon Rebel SL1 with an attached lens to it. There was a sticker on it um, that said it was defective. So I ordered a battery charger when we get back home. We'll check the battery on it, see if the battery's still good. Um, this could 
just for parts it could get a hundred bucks for the camera it could get a hundred bucks for the lens so potentially like 200 bucks here but if it works yeah that's killer it may go into the fam collection denver may, bins but denver bins yes. yes day one denver bins we did well we spent 35 dollars total and we think we could probably get over a thousand dollars from all of our finds so amazing day one i mean if this is what denver has in store for us we're gonna be doing pretty well yeah we might move we might move <laughs> <laughs> no mom don't worry well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. All that good stuff. Leave and a comment if you have anything to say. <laughs> and stay tuned for day two. Thank you. Bye, guys.